Okay, hey you guys, I wanted to show you the interface for the War of the Outer Gods, Epic Multiplayer Interface. And to do that, I made up a, an event in here, right? So this is what happens if you logged in to Arkham Cards. It uh, shows you the title, the description, the time to start, how many groups have registered already, how many players have registered already. I'm going to register my own group. I'm going to have three investigators and I'm going to have the group name of my group and I'll put uh, my own Discord handle, but doesn't really matter, it's just so that, yeah, so I am up, I confirm that I will have three, it can only be confirmed an hour before the event starts, all right, so I'm going to go to my secret control, and I'm going to switch on the day the schedule start. So now the schedule start is now in uh, eight minutes, right? There we go, right. So now I can confirm my registration. Yep, I confirm my registration. It's important to confirm your registration because some things like the health of a certain enemy is a function of how many total registered investigators are there. Now, I called it my group. I can do the space, I can use Russian letters. I mean, it doesn't really matter, it's just sometimes group names will be mentioned. So, if you could like make meaningful group names that would be better for the for the overall experience. All right. It's not gonna start automatically, the admin person needs to click start the event. And this is what happens when the event is started. So you still have your description, knowing that you're in the right interface. You might be running two games at the same time. Uh, uh, this is the time remaining. By default, we set 180 minutes. It should be enough. Uh, this is the three groups that get confirmed. This is the five players that are there. So these are the... Uh, to confirm groups that appear. So yeah, as long as we are in the first act, there are some announcements that can happen and show you what's going on. So let me send you the announcement to show what's going on. Hi all. This is how the announcement happens. So I get the announcement updating you on what's what's happening All right so here you have the notice and the time tag that tells you what when when things happen and uh, the way you affect things is that you place mythos phase uh, for your group All right and you might need to add a green doom and you might add blue doom you might add the red doom and if you need to add the blue doom you are sending a blue doom boop right all right so this is the stuff that happens uh maybe you advance your uh, mythos phase so at that stage you put one doom for each and you can 
just click one button and whatever. In some point you need to advance to act two. Are you ready to advance? Yes. Okay, you're in act two. Now you can see that there are players who are still in act one and there is Q who is in the act two. And now things happen and after you're done, uh, you can advance to act, well, three, right? And in act three is different because in act three, you can help other players who are in act two. Right, and you can see that the power survivors now joined uh, Act 2, and now you can give clues to them. And there is time when you might need it. So, to give them clues, that's how you do it. Okay, and sometimes you need help in some regions, and then you request help. If you are in that region and you need help, you request help. And another team might give you help and then you you'll use that help and in the same way somebody can request for help in Montreal and then you can give them help yes okay you gave help somebody in Montreal, right? So see here it says you received help in New York so that you remember that somebody gave you help in New York. Uh, but if somebody is now requesting again help in Montreal, you would not be able to help them in Montreal again. That's the, the reasons because of that. So that's pretty much all the controls. Remember that if you got killed, you need to report that you were eliminated because that affects Doom. So I would be able to see that you guys are eliminated, but yeah, that's how you report that you're eliminated. And if one of these went above, like for instance, if the blue uh, went to uh, 13 doom, what happens is that everybody says the blue agenda, everybody gets the blue agenda has advanced, please advance the agenda on B. You do the agenda one B, whatever that tells, and then you know the game goes on, and you need to put I don't know three doom and somebody else puts five doom, and eventually you know you need to flip the agenda again, right? And at some point, you know some big bad thing can come out, and then you fight the big bad thing. Right, and then you deal damage according to whatever happens on your table. So that's pretty much it. Right, so at that stage, you cannot really move clues around. You can still request help, but yeah, it, it works in the same way. But yeah, these are pretty much all the controls. So you need to remember that you register, then you confirm a registration an hour in advance. And then you can play after most of the people register. Uh, we should start on time. Like if it says 8 p.m., we start at 8 p.m. Uh, if there will be like 
a group missing uh, use your information when you wrote saying that this is my Discord handle. I'll write you and um, and I'll tell you that where are you guys, right? But yeah, it's important that you guys register. It's important that you guys tell me how many groups are playing. And this is how the controls are going to look like. Thank you very much for listening. Write us questions. And don't get killed. Cheers.